Hi, I'm Kevin Kimball. I'm an associate professor at Southern Maine Community College. I'd like to talk about prefixes and powers of 10. Oftentimes they are taught as separate topics, but the fact of the matter is they belong together because they really are one and the same. To get an idea of what I'm talking about, let me bring up the idea of the number 12. Everybody knows what I mean by the number 12. I could also say dozen, and everybody knows what I mean by dozen. And, as we know, they mean exactly the same thing. In a similar sort of way, prefixes are identical to powers of 10. They mean the same thing. And because they mean the same thing, they are interchangeable. And that makes them very, very handy and useful. For instance, the prefix kilo means 10 to the third power. The prefix centi means 10 to the negative 2. And they are, in, they are interchangeable. They can be unplugged and plugged back in. Very handy. For instance, I could start with 5.3 kilometers. But because I now know that kilo is identical and equivalent to 10 to the third power, I can replace kilo with 10 to the third. And now I rewrite it as 5.3 times 10 to the third meters. Means the same. Similarly, 4.3 milliliters milli, prefix milli, is equivalent to 10 to the negative third. Means the same thing. And so now I can write this as 4. 0.3 times 10 to the third liters. Tomatoes and tomatoes. That's really all we're talking about here. This also is pretty handy when you wind up with uh, some rather awkward, long numbers at the end of a, a problem. You can distill them down into more manageable presentations. Here's what I mean. Let's say you're working through a physics problem and you wind up with a final answer that looks something like this. 6.72 times 10 to the fourth kilometers. We can simplify that by first replacing kilometers, or kilo rather, with 10 to the third, bringing down meters. Ten to the fourth times ten to the third, ten to the seventh meters. Six point seven two times ten to the seventh meters. Much simpler. Frequently, people have trouble with conversions that present themselves in this fashion. For instance, we could have something like this. 2.63 times 10 to the seventh millimeters. And we want to convert this into kilometers. Well, a way to handle that would be to write it somewhat algebraically.
by saying that what we want is 2.63 times 10 to the something, we don't know, kilometers. Now we've articulated the whole problem. And we realize that all we're really worried about here are powers of 10. And so left to right, we can look at what these powers of 10 are. Left to right, we have 10 to the seventh times milli, that's 10 to the negative third, equals 10 to the something, x, times 10 to the kilo, 10 to the third. Once we do that, we realize that all we really are worried about are the exponents themselves. So we can focus just on the exponents. And so we have 7 plus a negative 3 equals x plus 3. 4, x plus 3, minus 3, minus 3, 1 equals x. And so our answer is 10 to the first power. 2.63 times 10 to the seventh millimeters equals 2.63 times 10 to the first power kilometers. This does take a little bit of practice. Don't be afraid of it. Play with it a little bit and you'll be amazed at actually how easy it becomes once you've done this a few times. The point is, is to focus, focus on the exponents. The exponents really are the key and remember that prefixes and powers of 10 are equivalent and interchangeable. My name is Kevin Kimball and I hope this helps you.